Daniel Defoe, this is MSC. Over. Defoe, do you hear me? Daniel Defoe here. What's up? One of our reconnaissance helicopters has spotted a strange film on the water's surface, not far from your position. Possible contamination. Can you check and assess the situation? You're probably going to have to take a water sample from the target area, Finn. Looks like it, Larry. Let's get to the target first, and then I'll switch to the daughter boat to take the sample. Here we go. Take a look at this. What's going on with you? There's an unbelievably thick fog starting to drift our way. Eerie. Be careful. Still going to try to get the water sample with our daughter boat. Roger, Defoe. Water sample obtained. Then pass that wet little baby right on over here. Can you already gauge what kind of an oil slick it is? Looks like Bunker C to me. Not good. MSC, we suspect we might have a leaking ship in the area. Should we launch a search operation? Yes, we're transmitting you the search area. Coleman, we're on the lookout for an environmental offender. He seems to be dumping heavy oil into the water. Okay, I'll keep my eyes peeled. But bring that sample over here to me first. What's up, Finn? I have work for you. Samples? Fingerprints? Database tests? No problem. Just put that object of yours up on the lab table, or rather, the computer, and I can explain the rest to you. Will you manage by yourself, Finn? It can't hurt for me to know. How do I start, Larry? Turn the Bunsen burner on so its flame is very hot. Use the valve at the bottom to do so. It has to be really hot, roaring blue. Excellent. See the big needle with the loop at one end? The one that looks like a dip net? Yes. That's an inoculating loop and your most important instrument. The next task has three steps. First, take the inoculating loop and hold it into the blue flame. That sterilizes it. You can move it by holding down the mouse button. Second, guide it into the jar of seawater to extract the sample. 
Third, inject the sample into the Petri dish. Then we'll continue. Excellent. See the big needle with the loop at one end? The one that looks like a dip net? Yes. That's an inoculating loop and your most important instrument. The next task has three steps. First, take the inoculating loop and hold it into the blue flame. That sterilizes it. You can move it by holding down the mouse button. Second, guide it into the jar of seawater to extract the sample. Third, inject the sample into the Petri dish. Then we'll continue. Now we need to distill a colony from the sample. To do so, we'll use the so-called dilution plating method. Hold down the mouse button and guide the inoculating loop to follow the lines along the Petri dish. That way, you'll distribute the sample so that colonies can grow. finishes up our business here, I'll let you know when I receive the final analysis for it. Until then, you should use the Luke Fox to start searching the area for the perpetrator.